would you like to convert uh, this 3D volume or a part of it to a surface model in STL format so that you could, for example, 3D print it? Let's see how that works. So first, uh, let's open the 3D volume like this, and then let's go here uh, to File menu that you can find here on the uh, upper left corner uh, of the screen. Let's open the file menu, let's go to Export, and let's select Export Volume as STL. So now uh, we get this small uh, dialog here uh, on the screen, and also uh, the looks of our 3D rendering uh, changed a little bit. So uh, this, uh, what we see here, is actually the surface uh, that we would be exporting. And we can adjust uh, this surface by using the third slider here on the 3D rendering tools. So if we move the slider a little bit, we can get rid of uh, uh, some of the surface and we can get a cleaner uh, surface model uh, to be exported. We have then further options uh, also here in this dialog. So uh, we could drop uh, the resolution in a little bit in order to get a smaller file, but then on the other hand, we might uh, lose some uh, details as well. Also, if we apply smoothing, uh, that would uh, smooth the surface, but uh, again, uh, we could run the risk of uh, losing some details. And uh, if we keep this uh, export cropped uh, option uh, selected, uh, we can uh, export uh, just a part of the volume uh, as surface model. So, for example, just uh, uh, some uh, half of the uh, volume, for example. And uh, we can uh, determine the cropping by uh, drawing uh, a rectangle on either uh, of these views. So, for example, if we track here this rectangle, we can also see here uh, in the 3D rendered view, that now we would be exporting just part uh, of the volume as surface model. After uh, we have uh, set uh, all our preferences here, uh, we can just browse for the folder. I had here already by default a uh, folder uh, to which I'm going to export uh, my surface model. Uh, but if we would like to browse uh, for the right folder on the computer, uh, we could click on this uh, small box here. And uh, we can also specify a uh, file name. Let me modify my file name a little bit. And then when everything is ready, let's click on OK in order to export uh, this uh, model as surface model in STL format. And now if we go and check uh, how our file looks like, we see that uh, we got our uh, surface model in STL format here uh, in this folder that we specified.